hello friends welcome back once again uh, well in previous videos we had learned some basic concepts of the derivative and finding derivative from the first principle a little bit we have learned and here the question is saying find the derivative from the definition finding the derivative of some function from the definition or from the first principle that's mean the same thing by the same method we need to find out right so let me suppose this function is y equals to x square plus 5x minus 3 somewhere in some books you might uh, be watching this like f of x so don't confuse that's the same thing and we need to find out here f of x that's the derivative of x or you can say dy by dx these things we need to find out so don't confuse this means the, this all means the same thing so here let's uh, start let me suppose here delta x is a small increment here delta x is a small increment in x and similarly delta y is a small increment in y so now my this function will turn somehow like this y plus delta y equals to x plus delta x this this x will be x plus delta x right because a small increment is there x squared and then 5 and this x again this x will be x plus delta x delta x minus 3 some of the books uh, may use like h or somehow like that so don't forget in that right I mean don't confuse on those things simply uh, use delta x delta y I feel this is a little bit standard I feel easiness to do with this right so here now uh, it will be now y right y plus delta y or uh, if you want to write then you can use the value of y as this also here x square plus 5x minus 3 so I'm going to put here right so it will be now x square plus 5x minus 3 plus delta y equals now see x plus delta x so this will now this is going to work as a a and this is going to work as a b so the a plus b whole square formula we're going to use that is a square plus 2ab plus b square right so x square plus 2 times x times delta x plus delta x whole square and again here this 5 will multiply this x so it will be 5x and then 5 will multiply this part now right first initially they it multiplied x and now it will multiply delta x so 5 times delta x minus 3 now see in the both places what are the common things that will cancel out x square will cancel out x square will cancel out and 5x will cancel out with this 5 5x and this minus 3 will cancel out with this minus 3 right this has been cancelled out so now I am left with only few things and that is here delta y equals to now uh, delta x square delta x square plus 2x delta x plus 5 delta x well now what I'm going to do I'm going to divide both side means left hand side as well as right hand side right I'm going to say dividing by delta x both sides and taking limit taking limit as delta x tends to 0 so that what we will get it right so we'll write delta y over the delta x and I have told you that I will take the limit as delta x tends to 0 then again here also limit delta x tends to 0 and this whole quantity I need to divide by the delta x right so delta x square plus 2x delta x plus 5 times delta x and then whole divided by delta x right so next time I'm writing this quantity same as it is right limit delta x tends to 0 delta y over the delta x equals to now see limit delta x this is x actually it's not looking like x tends to 0 and here delta x delta x and delta x so I can take out here delta x common and I'll be left with delta x plus 2x plus 5 and then whole divided by delta x right so next time what I can do I can cancel out this 2 right and in next step again it will be limit delta x tends to 0 and it will be delta y over the delta x limit delta x tends to 0 delta x plus 2x plus 5 so now I can easily plug the value here right delta x tends to 0 if I'm plugging over here that what I'm going to get here now I'll get 0 plus 2x plus 5 and this will be again limit delta x tends to 0 delta y over the delta x it means this is actually when delta x tends to 0 delta y over the delta x this is actually my f prime x I mean to say derivative of function f of x or simply you can say dy by dx or simply you can say limit 
when delta x tends to 0 delta y over the delta x is equal with now 2x plus 5 so this is my derivative that uh, that I found uh, find out here with the use of definition method or you can say by the first principle method all right so like this we need to find out the derivative from the first principle method or you can say the definition right uh, I hope you understand this problem and similar type of more problem we'll be trying to solve that will give you more concept first what you have to do simply whatever you have the function suppose y equals to this is your function and then take a small increment in x as well as take a small increment in y and change your variable y and x in that way by changing a little bit increment and again finally put the value of y what you have and something will cancel out and you'll get your whole equation in the form of delta y and in delta x and go proceed 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 and finally at last in almost you know I'm taking this uh, process this this will use almost in every uh, every problems so finally you have to take again delta x as a limit right you need to take delta x tends to 0 as a limit and divide by the delta x both side and this is going to give you the derivative and rest of this something will cancel out here and you can plug the value and you'll get the answer here in this situation right in this situation I'm talking in this situation you can directly plug the value of delta x tends to 0 because once you plug the value of delta x tends to 0 this whole numerator this whole numerator will be 0 because delta x is 0 z tends to 0 approaching to 0 it means 0 0 0 0 it will be 0 and in numerator also delta x is approaching to 0 that's why it will be 0 so 0 over 0 that is some undetermined value so you cannot do in that way right so proceed in this way this is a, you can say a reference by taking this reference you can do a lot of problems and we'll be also doing some more problem that will give you more ideas okay so we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye